Hello there, it's Dango1867 and we're feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo. We are going to do a new video on the channel. It's going to be Sheffield Wednesday's Road to Glory. And it is on one of my favourite retro football management games of all time. Yes, that's right, Championship Manager 97-98. Not my favourite, I'll put money on it, it's probably going to be a Championship Manager 0102 which had me uh, by the balls for longer in regards of how many days and years and weeks of my time I put onto that one but this was very much the starting point after the Championship Manager 2 and then on to this and then obviously from there pretty much addicted to football management game to the point where I've had to stop playing them because after 0102 the amount of hours I put in there it was getting just a bit too much but if you can curb your addiction unlike me then obviously that is all good and these games are very much there to be enjoyed so the name of the game is basically to get it so Sheffield Wednesday can win a trophy. We haven't won one in real times in very, very long time. I think 1991 for the League Cup win against Man United. So we're back in time because it's very unlikely that we're going to win anything anytime soon, sadly. Uh, and we're going to look at this old school squad. I'm going to see if we were still in the Premiership back then, if we'd have had a different manager, a few different players, what we would have done. So as you can see straight away, we've got some... Uh, legendary players like Kevin Pressman in there we've got Desi Walker one of my favorite defenders we've ever ever had we've also got some really random veterans that we signed over the years in regards to Bruce Grobola his Liverpool teammate Steve Nichols so real big mix up there at the defensive end of the pitch we've also got some good players like Petter Rudy who was a very good signer we've got Di Canio obviously Known for pushing over a ref for Wednesday more than anything else he did on the pitch. Um, got some good solid pros, uh, pros even like Mark Pembridge. We've also got Benny Carbonis, we've got the Italians up top. Nicholas Alexanderson, who is the best utility man on the entire game, as you can see there. We've also got up front Big Andy Booth. So, I'm going to have a look at this. Uh, I'm obviously trying to see what we've got, see what we need to strengthen in, and go from there. It's not a terrible squad. There's some there's some ability in there, but it does have a few holes. What you'd say, hmm, what we're we gonna do? For example, doesn't really seem to be much in regards of a decent right back. Obviously, Earl Barrett's decent, but not not I think special. So we're gonna have to look into that. So let's get straight onto it and see what we can do in regards of building up a really exciting team and hopefully from there getting some games won and. Fingers crossed at the end of the season have picked up at least a trophy to make this uh, a successful series. If we haven't, then obviously depending on how it's going down, we may have to go another season and see if we can win one then. But we'll have a look at this first. So first and foremost, pretty much Big Kevin Pressman is my number one. Obviously Matt Clark behind him, which means Brucey, you can jog on. So... We'll transfer this to him. I know he's old, but might worth a few quid. We've got the center off, so I'm looking for Des Walker. And now this is a tough one. I think we're gonna have to put him next to Atherton. Which is the center off partnership I remember seeing at this sort of time period. We did have Stefanovic, we did have Newsom. Those guys are kind of backups. John Newsom's got some really solid stats, a big old unit. And Stefanovic, the other side of the, he's a bit more, uh, a bit more all-round, good solid pro, and a really great player later on in his career. Um, after he left Wednesday, to be fair. Stevie Nichol, he's pretty good for a utility player on the bench for me. I think that might be worth keeping him involved. So, if you can still run, Stevie, obviously that's what we want. We've got Andy England. Andy Inchcliffe in there, obviously first choice left back. We've got his uh, Ian Nolan as a backup, and potentially Briscoe as well. So probably Briscoe just edging it. I would have thought. So we'll have to see what's going on with that. Stevie Aslam, young lad, don't really need him in there. I know he's a bit of a club legend and still at the club, but you can uh, jog on Stevie. 
And this kid, I uh, don't really want much either, so I'll let you go out as well. Right, so, we've got a lot of young lads we need to just get off the books. Because we're not planning on playing this for decades and decades. But Graham Hyde, Donny Legend. And by that I mean born in Donny, not actually playing for Donny. Let's have a look. And Jim Magilton. Okay. So Petter Rudy is a standard. He's a very good player. So we want him in. Jim Magilton looks alright, but nothing spectacular. So I think central midfield is a position we need to strengthen. Right, let's have a look up front. So we've got this young kid. Looks alright, but again, not planning on a long term series. So off you pop. Well, Donaldson's got decent shooting, decent. Actually, well, Donaldson on this is gem with some really good starts. I'm actually going to probably start him. Of a Booth, which is shocking. Because Booth has got the shooting, but he's no pace. He's big and good in the air. Three and a half millions worth. Like, it's a decent price. But look at O'Donnellson's stats 20 dribbling, 17 flyers, 16 heading. Is that 18 pace? Oh, I'm, I'm hoping that's 18 pace. Can't really see. Let's have a look. Yeah, 18 pace. Hmm. We've got on Mac Whittingham available. Because I think at the minute, if we're talking strikers, it's them two. Right. Okay, let's get on to the rest of it. So we've got Benny Carboni. Oaks is a utility player. We've got a lot of good utility players in this. Actually, a lot of players that can play in more than one position, which is really good. Wow, stats on plat, so it's good as well. Okay, so I've got a system in my mind, but we're going to go through first. But at the minute, I think in central midfield, there's a big, big problem. So I think we want a really solid core to the side, someone to hold it together. I mean, defense, I'm thinking. We need a right back. Well, I know we need a right back. So so far, we need a right back. Uh, we need a central midfielder. We could potentially do with an attacking central midfielder, but I could always play. Because look at Alexander's stats. He can do it all, the kid. We've got options. So that is coming out as a very big surprise because you know, I've never seen him have that good stats before. So that would have been my go-to position. I needed a striker, but at the minute, I think we can safely say centre-halves, we're fine. We're overloaded, if anything. We need a right-back. We need a central midfielder. Pembo looks all right, but we could do with probably a better, a better uh, attacking midfielder centre. Right, so let's leave that there for a moment, guys. Right, guys. So let's get on to the tactics. So I've got a vague idea of how I want to play. Just need to try and work it into some sort of system. So we're going to put all the players in that will probably be getting games if it stays as it is. I'm going to pop Alexander at right wing back. And this is purely to get it so we can pick his tactics. First game of the season looks like it's Leicester as well. Big ML up there. Looking a bit beasty. Lennon in there as well. Looks very good actually. Potentially could do with Lennon. We weaken a potential opposition team already. <laughs> Some of the best players. Standard old school management technique. Right then. Okay, let's get back onto the tactics. So. That is not what I want it to look like. This is what I want it to look like. So, the theory being, when the fullbacks bomb under the midfield drop deep and we've got enough play to get in behind, we've got the option to turn the wingers into actual full on wingers. I'm going to play pretty direct because obviously that's generally how this game's played. And from there, we can uh, take it as it goes. 
So we've got creativity 17, set so pieces only 13. Mm, we've got many good crosses, but well, it's better like, yeah. Alright, so Petter's going to be attacking corners. No, they can't even own everything else. Just because it's Decanio, let's be fair. Right, happy with that. But let's have a look and see what we can get in the actual transfer market. So we need, obviously, must be people who are available. Need a midfield centre, and they have to be available. So we've got seven and a half million. It's not a lot of cash to be looking at. Quasi looks a decent offer. Let's have a look. David Platt. Is he injured? Is he not injured? Oh, that's an interesting one. I, I think we, I'm going to have a cheeky bit at this. I think we have 1.7 million. The legend, England legend to the club. Look at right back. Right, this is important. So we've got Rob Jones, another England player. Always injured again. Steve Hartness, because a bit more versatility. Barnsley's AD Moses. Right, let's have a look see if there's any anything from abroad then. Oh, Colden. So I remember some of these players. Not all of them, obviously. It's been a while since I played this game, but Cold and he does come out as one of the better players. How does the the Votney? Stefan Muller. We can't blow his budget on one player. Right. Clarence Acuna is a very good player, but it's whether or not he can play at this level. I don't think we've got any foreign players on the squad that we're actually playing so far. So I think I'm gonna have a cheeky bid for Clarence. He did an attacking midfielder as well, potentially to sit behind the striker so we're in a sort of number ten role. Let's have a look. Not feeling it with any of these. Let's have a look. Nah, no, nah, not feeling any of them. Wonder what we've got domestically in an attacking midfield role. Why not? I'm going to try and sign Latis. Pair always scored against Wednesday when I used to go watch him all the time. Right, so that's his, um, his targets. Some big, some uh, not so big. We'll see what we can get in. Right, alright. So, yeah. You can have that corner. That's fine. No problems with that. So, probably going to get a corner in. Which is good. Not the priority out of the signings we're making, but it's not terrible. I've used him before from my memory, generally just good. Right, Platt is not us back. Latis is wanting to talk. Right, let's get this list this over the line, he says. Give him a couple of grand more than he's expecting, and let's get back into that market and try and find a central midfielder because Kuna sign, excellent, happy with that. Chilling international. So let's have a look at the update then. So at the minute, right back. Put a cooner in there now. And the England's still injured. Pembo was wanted. As is Carboni. None of the players I've listed are wanted, which is standard on this game. Right then. So 
we need a central midfielder. We've got more money. That's good. So season ticket sales has gone in. Plot Murray. King Clasda. Brilliant player, but that's a lot of cash for one player. Oh, there we go. Available as well now. Right. I'm going to go abroad. Because I think at the minute, I'm not sure any of these had actually come. Apart from Ian Hart's level midfielder. That's odd, but okay. Um, yeah, we're going to look abroad. It's more of a right back than a central midfielder. Want someone who can get up and down pitch really well. He looks decent. Determined, he's influential, he's got good off the ball, good passing, good positioning. Never heard of him. The millionaire, so no idea what that kid is or whatever he did in his career after this. No. No, 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 no. Ooh. No, he's pretty average and everything. Not good and out. Right, so we're going to sign that Italian kid. What's he worth? Big one on it. 1.8. Get you interested. Okay, then. So, hopefully, the Italian kid gets picked up. Hopefully the test agrees on his deals and decides to come to the Wednesday. And then we've got... Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't want other sides bidding for you. Go away. Yes. Oh, he's in just for a couple of months. Shit. Um, oh, no, what do we do? We sign him. We can hopefully hold on long enough to be around the fringes of any sort of tournaments, cups, and be there or thereabouts in the league without him until he's back. But this means we definitely need to get this Italian kid over the line because at this point, there's only one of the three signings we're looking to make. Right, he only wants four grand. Going to give him five, he has to move out. Oh, big Kenneth Anderson. Oh, that's a striker we wouldn't mind. No. No, Benny. No. We don't even play. We don't even kick a ball yet, Benny. I can't stand it why. It's, seven, it's worth seven and a half million, so. Benny's off. Um, that's a spanner in the works, so let's get back out there because we need to replace him. It's all falling apart before we even got started. So we're going to get a decent amount for Benny because he's worth a lot. We just don't need to replace him with someone half decent. Right then. This is the downside of selling players. No. He's a player I've definitely used a lot before as well, that Lancia. His stats are terrible this time. Wish I could remember some of the players I used to go to in these situations because I'm really struggling to remember people who I used, why I used them. He looks good. There's nothing particularly flashy about him. He's not he's not flared out of uh, out of the world, but he's not terrible either. Oh, hello. 
Well, he's injury prone, that's why. Oh, <laughs> God. Can't believe he's putting a transfer request on him. Oh, this Phil Scott. Well, if we're going to go on up down the Wednesday thing, we should be signing him, but really don't want to. Okay, so we'll leave it for this week. See what happens with the Benny. He ain't gone yet. There's no one's bid for him. We've got Enrico. Bunioko. Bunioko? I don't know. Enrico. Enrico signed. That's good. That's good. So we've got brought in three players, but now we're having to replace Benny. This is not a good start. Because, obviously, why wouldn't it, man? Let's press one to better influence. Oh, he's about the same. Or has Afton got better? Yeah, that's, he was club captain to be fair, so. Let's put him in there. Right, so, first game of the season. We've got a one to away Italian. And a team that's kind of going to be untested, so let's get on with it. What? Wow. So, off the back, Akuna has been sent off a minute into his debut for trying to cripple Heskey. That's a bad start. So, I'm going to sacrifice Humphreys for Steve Nickel and put Nickel in at right back. Okay. Very bad start. Can it get worse? Probably. We're 10 men. But we'll see. If we can get anything out of this game. All are done well. Play sent off after a minute. No. Oh. Come on. <laughs> well, my, my uh, Chilean super signing costing us dear so far. This is not good. Carboni, Donaldson. Oh, come on. We gotta make we gotta take his chances. We aren't gonna get many. Oh apparently we might. Come on. Good corner. Oh, brilliant. Come on. Oh, we're actually on top. Gotta take his chances. Right, Petter, what are you doing with your corners? That's two absolutely abysmal corners, back to back. Wow, this rest a little bit biased. Sending off, the booking anymore? Come on. Another book in. Come on, ref. This is as biased as it gets. It's not like I've given the instructions to go out there and kick lumps out of people. Come on, then. That's a book in, right? Yeah, this ref just can't happy, innit? Come on. Flick Ted around. Oh, come on. Donaldson, I put you in there because I feel you'll be more prolific because you're better all rounder. Don't make me pop Boofy on and just start kicking it high. Di Canio. Oh. Come on, Petter. Better corn this time. Oh. We're getting chances. Despite the fact we're down to 10 men. Need to get it into half time. Just at 1 now. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, Jesus. Come on, just before half time. So, a sending off in the first minute, a goal conceded just before half time. Absolute terrible, terrible 
terrible half of football. Right, so Petty Rudy's having an abysmal game to the point I'm going to have to sub him at half time, which is terrible. We created chances, we're just not taking anything. So, Petty, you've got to come off. You've been absolutely garbage. I'm going to put Nicholas Adlas Anderson in a position in there. Oh, Danielson again. But, and he's just done terrible. So, big Andy Booth. Maybe we do need a striker. Maybe he's got like these uh, special stats that look good but aren't good. So, like, we'll leave that. No. We need to score in the half first to try and get anything out of this game. But at the minute, it's all going the wrong way. Well done, Pressy. At least someone's having a good game. Probably jinxed him. <laughs> okay. Right, come on now, Wednesday. Let's get some out of it. It's hat trick. No, Pressman again. Look like they've gone up a gear, but we've just sort of stopped. Played the veteran. We not get something in this half. We had a better look like we've created more chances in that first half. Just like that second goal to literally knock the stuffing out of us. Just, yeah, I'm gonna say, where's the bookings, ref? You've been booking everyone who's fouled anyone. Second goal, isn't there? Benny, that's okay. Oh. Eating up those balls at corner. Oh, brilliant. Is that a fucking by the way? Oh, it's Bond. It's Des Walker. Says everything. Well, we've been absolutely abysmal in this half. And they should be out of sight. But. We've also not created anything, and it's all one way, which you did expect. We've had obviously a player down since the start of the game. Okay, so it's not looking like a good result, but I can't really blame the side completely because we've been up again it since the start of the game. So poor result. There were some poor performances as well, but again, I'm not too negative on that we do need a striker 